Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we were doing some stuff for the three witches. This episode, well, we're going to continue to do stuff for the three witches. But first, let's spend my 20 skill points. There's not that much here that I actually want to get. So, uh, out of these, I think the most important is Frenzy and then Alchemist. So Frenzy, I'm really just getting Frenzy to get to Alchemist. Frenzy gives me double damage when I have 15%, uh, less than 15% health. Probably not going to be making use of that very often. But Alchemist is the one I really want. Unlocks four advanced drug recipes at once. Stoic, Blood Toxin, Chrono Balm, and Velvety Emulsion. What's this last one? Yield of crafted drugs is doubled. All right, let's pick up the baby feeder now. Have you got my chemical bag? Not quite yet. I had no idea you had to be so careful with chemicals. Give me. Okay, hold on. I know they're making another thing for me. That's obviously not ready yet, but I should be able to pick up the baby feeder. I guess maybe I barter for it. Got anything yummy in you? Yes, that's how it works. 300. I'm not even close to being able to afford that. Hmm. Well, now that I can make those super rare alchemical recipes, perhaps I should actually make some things. Not today, I'm afraid. Let's see what I can make. Have to use a chemistry set, of course. Actually, do I need... Hold on. Do I actually need to use a chemistry set? Because I have the chemistry thing that allows me to make stuff without being at a chemistry set. Yeah, never mind. I didn't actually even have to go to a chemistry set. So let's just make a bunch of stuff. Lily bulbs, honey, and strange meat. I forgot what this actually does, but I don't know. Let's craft it just to sell it, if nothing else. Let's make some more mercury amalgam, I suppose. Blood toxin uses a lot of night blooming nonsuches. More lily bulbs and charcoal. Yeah, this is going to be hard to make a lot of. Lily bulbs in particular are pretty rare, and that's a lot of night blooming nonsuches. Causes animal cell membranes to rupture. That is nasty. So that's all I can make for now. Like, what kind of stuff am I missing? Butterflies. Histoplasms. Histoplasms. Toxic wastewater, of course. I don't have any yams to make a phytosteroid. Oh, there's some healing stuff as well. That's not listed under chemicals, but I mean, it is chemicals. Anti-choke. Heals damage while breathing toxic fog until dosage expires. Cannot heal and wear a gas mask at the same time. Uses blood toxins, saltpeter, mercury amalgam, empty pill bottle. Oh, makes five. Interesting. I mean, it's probably worth it to make this to sell, if nothing else, right? Berserk spike. Make someone go berserk. Berserk people attack the nearest person who's not berserk. Cannot be used on self. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Coffee, syringe, and hallucinogen. So basically, hallucinogenic plus... I mean, I guess it's supposed to be caffeine. But of course, that's actually just chicory, so I don't think it actually has any caffeine at all. Anyway, let's make some anyway. Let's make some crash. I could probably sell that. I need beefy pituitary fluid for this. Ew, okay. Right, well I guess I'll sell all of that, plus... I'll just go check my inventory and just see if I have like an overage of something and just try to sell that stuff as well. How Let's see how much I money help? we can get. Mind if I look around? I have a lot of garbage weapons that I want to sell. Um, can I sell? Yeah, just by pressing G. I don't need a brick. Why is a brick worth eight? Is a single brick really that valuable? I don't need this much scotch. That actually goes for a pretty good amount. I need like 300 to buy the thing, I think. Mm. Yeah, that was it for the garbage weapons. Let's sell the drugs now. I don't need this much crash. That's actually not worth that much. 
think I might just sell like all of it except for one. I don't think I'm ever going to need it. Ooh, anti-choke is worth 19 for each one. Let's sell all of that. Because I don't think I'm going to use it at all. Cures, food poisoning, probably won't use that. Hmm. Ooh, a single knockout syringe is worth 13. You make those in batches of 10. I think I want to keep them, though. Or do I? Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep them. Oh, I have enough money to buy it now. Yeah, anything else I want to sell? I don't think I need this many first aid kits if I have three best first aid kits. Let's just sell these. I don't think I need any empty torches at all, really. Yeah, all right. Come again soon. You never know when we'll have something. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. I don't know why I closed it. Automatic baby milk dispenser. Ciao, there darling. you go. Hope your bird likes it. Flowers. Lionel, flowers. Well, good timing, because it looks like I need to feed them. There we go. Oh, it, it sticks through the other side. How does the baby actually use it, though? All bundled up like that? It's not like they're just going to stand up or sit up and move over there and suck on it. Like a gerbil in a cage or something. But, um, yeah, I'm sure it works. So there's no need to feed them now? Right, because it still says press E to feed. Uh, I guess I don't have baby milk, but I don't need baby milk. Like, I think this thing just has unlimited baby milk, I assume. Weird thing is, though, is I can't even pick them up. Normally you can. I'm going to give them milk anyway. Let's just make a bunch. Mmm. Is that good? When we go to the countryside, there will be all sorts of lovely things I can mush for you to eat. Carrots and beets and apples. Did you know food grows in the dirt? I bet you'll love to play in the dirt and jump in the mud. And I won't even scold you for getting dirty. You can just eat and get stronger and soon I'll take you to the country. I have the nappy, but I need fresh water, which means I need to make a water filter. If I'm very, very lucky, you won't wet while I'm changing your nappy. It's a little game, isn't it? Now's my chance to get mummy soggy and stinky. The auto feeder has fed your offspring. How modern. head over to the wedding party stones like the witches told us to got to go through whatever's here pretty big patch of unexplored land also as soon as i come out of this track access hatch these cops are always just on my ass because the area right there is actually off limits so they're chasing me Right. I was gonna set off the alarm, but I don't right. care. I'm done fooling around. Right, right. I've had it with no you. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Right. Uh oh. 
This isn't the way to get here, is it? What is the way to get hit there, though? I'm done, holy it points me to go over here. Um, maybe from like here? I don't know. I gotta get out of combat and I think I gotta teleport over closer right. to there and just see where it wants I me to go. It with you. Right, well, I'm supposed to go really, really, really far over in that direction. Although I think it's gonna tell me to go here and then here and then here or something like that. Anyway, I have to go really, really far and there's just nowhere for me to teleport to anywhere here. So, let's try a drug that I've actually never tried before. Flash. Temporarily increases the noise of sprinting, but also makes you way faster, apparently. Also, do I have anything I want to spend my skill points on? Better merchant prices? I can't actually afford that. Anything that increases my speed? I don't think so. Crafted weapons and atomizers wear out half as quickly. I still haven't even been able to use an atomizer. I don't really care about stealth stuff, really. Being able to go around at night would be nice, I guess, but it hasn't been too much of an issue. Let's get stuff lasts twice as long. And let's see how fast I go on Flash. Nice. Damn, that is really fast. Yep, looks like down here is the right way. I've just been running as fast as I can, taking minor detours to get a bunch of plants. But starting to encounter some stuff. There's an abandoned house here, and we're pretty close to here. And there's a shelter there, thank God. I, need to, I really need to unlock more shelters. Let's get my torch. Well, that's this house looted. Oh god. Oof. I should probably heal, actually. What kind of healing stuff do I have? A good amount. Nine basics and five medicated. No one likes a tattletale. It was too fun, I had to do it. I really need rows of Gilead petals. See what the boys like about fighting. Once upon a time, there was a town called Ham. It was the name of the town. That's just what it was called. Ooh, what is that over there? The Definitely town. significant. It's, it's quite large. Hard-working smiths and beautiful girls. Ooh, lilies. this out oh this is the yam place yeah you'll bleed out pointy stick I don't go peaching on me to teach her. I probably can't even get in here. Maybe if I took a hallucinogen? I don't know, probably still not, right? It's not even listed on the map.
I super don't need fox gloves. I have like 50 plus at this point, I think. You can kill one rat. You can set traps for a dozen rats. And who can kill a thousand rats? What the hell? If you tell, I'll say it was your idea. I don't have a lockpick? Or can I not lockpick during combat? Oh, what fun. Well, they had a lockpick. Loot them to try to get more lockpicks. Do you think it's sweet enough? Why don't you taste it? <laughs> Seriously, you won't die from just a smidge. It'll just make everything burn a little brighter, is all. Back at the house, we'll give everybody a huge cup of it. It doesn't hurt when we free our souls from their fleshy prisons, does it? Your heart races for a bit, and then off we go to the ethereal plane, huh? Why don't we use Hemlock? Like how Socrates killed himself. Hemlock doesn't hurt at all. My god. They're brewing poison. Because we already made two big batches of good slacks. Can you imagine if we came back to the Reverend Father with a big bowl of Hemlock now? He'd laugh at us. Might not even let us come along on the sacred journey. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring then. All our questions will be answered once we're no longer in the prison of our bodies. That's what he said, right? It's some sort of suicide cult. I'm not going to let them poison a whole bunch of people. Now I've got to get rid of this poison. I didn't know where else to go. I'm sorry. Did he lock you out? You're here for Rue, I imagine. Rue? Why the hell would I need Rue? She's not... That's an abortifacient. Oh. I'm not pregnant. I, I can't be. Joy's a contraceptive. The regular kind is. Oh, God. I'm such an idiot. You have a lot to think about. If you keep it... Then we'll help you as much as we can. But you'll need to be very brave, dear. Much braver than if you don't. There's nothing we can do for him now. There's no reason I shouldn't just blow these people up, right? Put that away. Uh. Needs must, I'm afraid. Hoping they have poison related ingredients? Doesn't seem like it. You did it, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, look, you've been beaten by a girl. You get to live. Back and think of England. Then we just go back, right? Yeah, back up here. I'm gonna sprint around here a bit and just see if I find anything of significance. Didn't find much around here, but there's something up here. I think that I think that's a cellar. Whoa, they just like teleported. <laughs> this isn't Harry. Sleep. Dream.
You had this coming. Oh. Do I not have any lockpicks again? All right, let's just go back to the witches. The people there, they were wearing these sigils. Oh Lord, the space god people. Ransom Mackenzie's congregation in Gardner House. They were making digital acts? In small amounts, it's a drug. More than that, it's a poison. You can make it from red foxglove seeds. We make all sorts of useful potions and things out of it. You could too. I think their reverend father is planning for the whole lot of them to kill themselves. I can think of a lot of reasons to kill yourself in the Garden District. But no one should have their death chosen for them. You know about my mum? I remember there was a terrible accident. Your mum put the wrong herbs in the family dinner. The whole family died except you. It was just before the train, so I always wondered. It wasn't an accident, was it? I think she didn't want my sisters to be scared. All alone in Germany. So she killed them. And I guess she didn't want Dad to hate her. So she killed him too. And she couldn't live with herself. I don't know why she left me behind. Here. This is the recipe for... Digital Axe? And something more? Mix it into their poison, and it should change from poison to... Mm, let's call it an eye-opener. You'll need digital axe for that, among other things. Come back, and I'll have the rest of what you need. You're making a sort of herbal blackberry joy, aren't you? You know your chemistry. I was on Harry Hayworth's team when we invented joy. One day I hope the goddess will forgive me for that. I just got the recipe for a whole bunch of stuff. Well, I've already got everything to make digital axe. Rubbing alcohol, bleach, and foxglove seeds. Jesus Christ. Well, that takes 20 foxglove seeds. I have plenty, but that's a lot. I can even make the antidote, too. Just need honey. Oh, I need to make the antidote. It's part of the quest. Right. Well, there's a honeybee nest just right down here. Don't I need, like, a padded suit for that, though? Or is Sally different? Where the hell's the honey? Anyway, no, there's no way I can get them. I've got my eye on you. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? I was looking around for a shop where I could buy clothes, hopefully the padded clothes I need to get honey from a beehive. And I found a quest, apparently, and also Corner Pub. Probably not going to be anything I want to buy in here, but let's check it out. Is a quest in here, by the way? I don't think so. Oh, it's been too long. I got a new compliment machine. It's let's spend my money, shall we? Just food. But actually, I kind of need food. I don't have any of the food that gives me that, like, yellow-orange kind of super bonus. Hmm. Which of this does that? Oh, I think it... I think it tells you down here, right? Yeah, stamina boost. Small. Small. Chunky stew doesn't give you anything. Eh, I guess just like jerky and toasted chicory. For an extended time, decreases stamina drain when sprinting. So that says extended. Um, this increases maximum stamina for a short time. Weirdly enough, they both say stamina boost small, but I guess toasted chicory probably lasts longer. I don't know. Let's buy two. See you soon, so I'm sure. Clever. Sorry, mustache. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? 
find it. It's right here, the quest? Lovely weather. You're looking nice and trim. I don't see anything. Alterations. Like this should be right here. It's daytime, obviously. Maybe it only occurs at nighttime. Oh wait. Oh, I think it's this. Mrs. Pankers is a shop. How long has she had a shop? I shouldn't be surprised. That woman could sew a wedding suit for an octopus. <laughs> Mrs. Pankers, that's the person that should have um, stuff to buy for clothes and stuff. Stuff to buy for clothes and stuff. That's a wonderful sentence. That's a bad sign. Mrs. Pankhurst! How have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful? When things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the reform club, but my old outfit... Oh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform? For the reform club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. I'll come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. I that sounds I done, fantastic. So. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. I think I saw purchasable um, invitations from... Down here at the apothecary. Oh, just exploring more here. And there's a quest here, also a memory. Oh, what's wrong, dear? He tells us so beastly. And they tell such vile lies. Oh. How did you provoke them? How did I? You act superior and keep to yourself when because you're Because I don't sit around with them smoking and gossiping about boys and teachers. You spend all your time with the boys in Rocket Club. They'll probably think you're trying to poach their boyfriends. They don't even have boyfriends. Sally, dear. Boys aren't your real friends. They're just after one thing. If you don't have girlfriends, you won't have any friends at all. Such a shitty mom. Look, if you're still mad about that incident with the, um, tea cozy... Oh, no. I need your assistance. It's sort of private. I've heard there's a fake pill that makes you look like you've had joy. Silly rumours. I sort of need one. Why would you want to go off your joy? It's for Beatrice. Well... It's sort of for me. You're going to slip it to her? It's just... If you're tired of her, break things off like a man. No, I love her. It's just... Well, ever since we started seeing each other, she says she loves me. But she loves everything. Me. Long walks. Sunsets and rainbows, of course. Simon says... Big wristwatches on a man. Wrapping paper, dandelions, a good night's sleep, ribbons, Uncle Jack's bedtime stories, six o'clock, commemorative spoons. I have to know if it's real. She'd be a downer, even if it's temporary. The moment she tells me the truth, I'll give her a real joy, 
Promise? Are you sure you want the truth? You used to be very interested in my mojo recipe. A dab a day keeps the doctors away, remember? Yes. I remember. That would be handy. I remember this person, I think, when we played as Arthur. Or at least we helped somebody that looked an awful like an awful lot like them in this exact area. Remember when we hid in the flowers, listening in the conversations and telling them what to say? Hmm. Huh. Unfortunately, I don't have any sunshine on me. Sold some stuff that I made, and yeah, there's a couple Reform Club invitations we can buy. I hope you're very happy with that. Please come again. Should I buy the other one? Just in case. Day for it. See you later. I got you an invitation. Are you sure you really want to go to the Reform Club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh, no. I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Oh, I made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. Love that constant screaming. Rubber cat suit. Oh, do I have enough skill points to get this? No. It gives me double yield on some drugs. I need 15 and I've only got 13. Well, look at you. Let's spend my money, shall we? Oh my god. Oh, there's so much to get. Will they take anything? Yeah, it seems like every shop will buy anything. It's not like clothes stores only buy clothes stuff. Or anything like that. Well, hell, let's sell some stuff. I don't need all of this. Bottles are worth a surprisingly high amount. Yeah, just honestly have all of these until you don't have money anymore. Cool. We can get anything. So we know what sneaky shoes are. Don't care. Boxing shoes. Run like the wind and don't break your ankle with these snazzy shoes. Run faster and longer and suffer less damage when falling. Ooh. Those seem to be the most... Um, the most expensive shoe except for the steel-toed boot, which is the same price. Right, so this is run faster and longer. This probably makes it run even faster, I think. Riding boots. Light armor. Don't care. Army boots. Heavy armor. Don't care. Steel-toed. Medium armor. Yeah, so that's all armor stuff. Sneaky stuff. And then these are moving fast stuff. Definitely boxing shoes. Hmm... Hmm, these padded suits, are, uh, they're not shitty, like the one Arthur had, but I think they'll do for bees. Reduce electrical damage, harder to see and hear. Makes you harder to see in shadow, does not conceal your movements. So this is slightly better, I think. Or is it? Actually, the visibility is higher. Harder to see and hear. Makes you harder to see in shadow. Huh. Anyway, who cares? I'm not getting either of those. <laughs> chic, chic padded suit hurts less when people and bees hit you. Absorbs damage from attacks. Absorbs damage from attacks. Resists infection. Conforms in the village. Ultimate protection from disagreements in the village. By the miracle of Mrs. Pankhurst's sewing talents, no one will realize you're practically armored. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, let's see how the running speed compares. Let's put on the padded suit. Nobody here is going to freak out about this suit, right? Nope. Look at them all. They all just, like, congregated there. Anyway, so this is my current sprinting speed. And this is my new sprinting speed. 
I'm not sure if it actually is faster than the training shoes, but it is a significant boost. Definitely like 10 or 15 percent. But look at my hands with that padded suit. I wish I could see myself more than just my arms when I'm sprinting. <laughs> Shall we eat so I can see my gloves? Pomp, 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 pomp. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, uh, I'm going to go get some honey by using my new padded suit to uh, get honey from a beehive and then craft the Digital Axe Antidote.